Okay, so this is Tilly. She is going to be six on the 27th of February. And she is currently on... She's just finished her sixth week of pregnancy. She finished that on Tuesday and today it's Wednesday. So we had her mated twice. First on the 27th of December and second on the 29th of December. And so, yeah, so it's been six weeks and we've had a scan which showed two puppies. I'll insert the footage of that now. So can you see this bit here? Yeah. This is actually the Yeah, she's not very happy at the moment because my mum's just gone out and my mum is her favourite person, so she's a bit anxious. Um, so obviously she's a blue roan English cocker spaniel, that's like the obvious. Um, she has become incredibly needy. She came really needy from about week two, week three, I would say, um, and really started to show um, kind of week five, week six. And this is her favourite kind of position to sit. She doesn't normally sit like this, kind of like on all fours, but I think that is just the easiest way and the most comfortable way for her to kind of distribute her weight. Um, she... Can you want to roll over? Roll over! No, you're not going to want to, are you? I'll have to get that in a minute. Um, in terms of food, she was never really that food motivated before she was pregnant. Um, but recently it's gone a bit crazy. She eats... We had to move her on to puppy food kind of week four. Just after the scan. The scan well, at the scan, the, we said to the vet that she wasn't really eating her food much anymore. And the vet said, right, now it's time to put her on to puppy food then. Because she was going crazy over the cat food. All she wanted to eat was the cat food, um, to the point where she would lick the cover on the cat food because she thought that she could get to it because it was like a clear cover. And um, so, yeah, she's on puppy food now. She's on like pouched pedigree puppy food. Um, we couldn't really find much in the way of puppy food in Tesco. It was like two different choices, both were pedigree. So she's on that and she has currently on week six now, she's just been up to three whole pouches a day and about two cups of biscuits. Um, the advice I've seen is just kind of feed them as much as they'll eat. She doesn't like the biscuits so much. She's not so bothered about those. So she often leaves some of the biscuits, but she eats the pouches. Yeah, very needy, very clingy. If she sits with you, she wants to be on you. <laughs> She's actually just started. Can you roll over? Come on. No, she doesn't want to. She was rolling around on the floor earlier, so I'll try and get her to roll over later. Her nipples went really big, um, like straight away. So... Um, I think that, her, what's the word? The mammary glands is the technical term. Um, they developed very early on and um, all but really the two that are like closest to her head, all of them are pretty well developed. So she has also had a patch of her stomach shaved for the ultrasound to have happened, but she um, has started, I think she's starting to kind of shed a little bit um, up the other end where around the nipples and stuff which is obviously a normal sign um okay so you might be able to see under here there's the boobies the nipples stick out quite a lot um, she's got a shaved patch there, but this is all always been really fluffy. We trimmed it back quite early on because um, our breeder actually said that one of their dogs had hair wrapped around the nipples before, and it kind of they they got to the point where they were actually the vet said they might have to amputate the nipples, so they said make sure that the nipples are always really clear and make sure that no hair is getting wrapped around them or anything. So we've always been quite cautious with that. But she's always had a real thick coat of hair on her kind of chest through to her belly. And um, that is definitely starting to thin out around the nipples um, in that area. And if she lets me, I will show you. Otherwise, her fur went really soft, like puppy soft. Probably, uh, like literally as soon as she was mated, it went super, super soft. So I don't know whether that's a sign that it, you know, worked. But um, it was literally like overnight, her fur went to super, super puppy soft. From I mean, it was soft anyway, because we hadn't had her neutered, but it, it was like really soft and it still is it's like 
It's like she's just been bathed and like conditioned and everything. I don't know. But no, she's food crazy. Um, we feed. I just actually gave her a whole carrot and she sat and just chomped her way through that. She really likes vegetables at the moment. She's very keen for vegetables. She's always really liked egg, but she's particularly keen for egg at the moment. Oh, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to leave? Are you trying to leave? Right, well, we're trying to film your video at the moment. I would definitely say that the bump is less obvious when she's standing up. I mean, she looks a bit fat when she's standing up. Um, underneath, it doesn't hang down that much. I mean, you can see the um, nipples a little bit more there. It's really when she sits. Sit. Tilly, sit. Sit. It becomes a lot more obvious. Um, I mean, to us, I suppose every dog looks a bit different, but to us, she looks really big and she sat in the most awkward place as well. So I can't really see, but this whole area is very round and just generally fat. <laughs> and she sits with her legs a little wider apart than normal as well. Okay, so I think that's all she's going to let us have a look at for this week. Um, I'll update you next week. Bye-bye.